in the next few days, you're going to have a little bit of a practical where you are confronted with a set of scenarios and you have to decide which one of these situations or which one of the investigations would be the most appropriate to answer or solve that problem. So we have the observational investigation, comparative investigation, and the experimental. Um, just based on what you know about these words, they can kind of help you make a lot of common sense out of them. So let's go ahead and get right to it. We are going to start with the observational, observational right here. So let's see. All right, let's just get right into it. All right, so observational is exactly what it sounds like. It is a um, investigation based mainly on observations, right? So go ahead and write that in your flap here. It is based mainly on observations. So that's our definition. Definition is based on observation. Based on observation. And you can kind of abbreviate that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start typing just a tad. So we can speed this up just a little bit. Okay, so that's the definition. You want to make sure you have the definition now, based on observations. Now, our observations are based on the five senses. Five senses. So the observations are based on five senses. And we know that as the seeing, hearing, auditory, visual, taste is called gustatory. You don't need to write any of this down, but I mean, if you draw this little picture, it might help you. The touch or tactile and smell is olfactory. Okay, and those are the five senses. All right. Now, some key words you need to know that'll help you with observational, observational investigations are, here we go. So let's get key terms down here. Let's get key terms, key terms. Any key terms? Is observational investigations help you come up with something called an inference? Okay, an inference. An inference is a conclusion you can come to based on what you observe. It's an explanation of what you observe. So an example here. Imagine I observe this picturesque scene here. I got a cat looking kind of mischievous. You can see it in the eyes there. And you have a group of yellow feathers, yellow canary feathers. Canaries have been known to help tell coal miners to get out because there's some sort of gas leak, because they'll die before humans will. So if you see a dead canary, you run. Well, this is a dead canary, right? It's not in a coal mine, though. So what could you infer? What's the conclusion you could come to, right? You could probably conclude that the cat ate the bird. That's an inference you made based on an, a visual investigation, right? So inference, that's what that means. So you can, you can write that down for yourself if you want. All right, where are we at? All right, cool. Now... Types of investigations, types of investigations. So key terms for investigations, five senses, inference. Um, they can be quantitative in nature. So quantitative in nature. What does that mean to be quantitative? Quantitative looks like the word quantity. Let's see if I spelled that correctly. Quantitative. Yay, I can spell. All right, quantitative. So quantitative means quantity. So like a number, like a value, right? So what are some examples of things that we can find quantities of? Well, let's see. We have volume, right? Like the volume, the amount of space something takes up, like a solid, liquid, or gas. We also have mass. We have temperature. We also have length, or length, sorry. We have length, so like distance, things we were doing in meters, right? And we also have, what else? Well, time, how long it takes for something to work, right? So these are all examples of quantitative investigations we can do. These are all under the scope of observation. Okay? These are all under the scope of observation. Okay? All right. So some examples. So you're going to want to have some examples. Make sure you leave enough space so you can write your examples here. Right? So you should have this cut up into a few sections. Um, so here are key terms. Here's some examples. You've done these probably in biology before, right? We have our dissections. Just cutting things up. Dissect literally means two parts, and sect means to cut. We also have what else? We have models, making a model like in a computer or something like that. So you can kind of see all the data. You're collecting data. That's really, really important. In our key terms here, 
let's see, let's make sure that we have in our key terms collecting data or data collection. And data collection. Okay. And let's see, making models based on data, of course. And what's the last one? Um, just observing animals in the wild or bird watching. Entomology, collecting bugs, bug entomology. Or populations. Okay? So these are all examples. Okay? So um, our observational, observational, just to kind of sum it up here. Experimental, keep that where it's at. Observational, so when you lift this flap, you should see this. Observational investigation is based on observation. That's our five senses. Our key terms are to infer, which is to come to a conclusion. Quantitative, which means we are measuring some sort of quantity. And the types of quantities we have are mass, length, time, temperature, data collection. Right? Data collection is very important. And our data is usually these quantitative. Okay? And our examples are dissections, making models, and observing animals. Okay? Those are just a few. Okay? We have, obviously, there are more. If you can come up with more, that would be a good, a good one. All right.